Hi everybody, San Bonani. Welcome to my channel. I'm Alam Gundanum Leche, and on this channel, see ya. Yes, see, boge ama reality shows. Eto alam zanti besi si zala sokulu maola ma shows. Since ama reviews or ama recaps, see ya pindagi footy. Si kulu me ngama celebrate si skani nama YouTubers. Eto alam zanti. If it's your first time joining me today, and you happen to like my content, do not forget to press the subscribe button. Langa zanti. Kani no ne notification bell goza pelu. Tolu mi ale zuma ngabom sebe nzomo sha se se ufagile. There is an article that was written uh, recently written on uh, uh, the Sunday World about Oh Mosam Selegu talking about uh, is it him? But it's written by Umbalente Zuma. You guys, you can go check out the full article. I will try and, and put the link in my description. But in that article, you guys, he is talking about uh, basically five things that he feels uh, men should consider uh, when they want to take it same way. Things that it's very important to think about these things and understand these things if you are a man out there and want to take a sitembo. Number one, you guys, he says that a man really has to be a level-headed man in order for a man to be able to uh have his team he says you're going to have to be a man that is able to run uh two three or more different households and in order to do that with you know two three four five whatever different wives you have to be somebody that is level-headed so men have to know that they have to be uh, people that are level-headed in order for them to be able to uh, take a seat team you guys and also he says that basically they have to understand that it takes time to convince the wife uh, of a lifestyle okay and um this one honestly for me it's like uh, I don't understand it quite when it relates to him because I'm like why would you do umnaguitu because umnaguitu the, the wives are not given enough time to actually go and think about it and make a decision on whether the second wife should come but he is here saying that he thinks that it takes time to convince the wife but on umnaguitu it's like you have to make a decision when they do the show so that doesn't uh, really work for me but that's what he says you guys that you have to understand as a man if you are going to take his table that it takes time to convince the wife i don't know why you would have to convince the wife because i would think if it was a table then by the time the first wife gets married they should know what to take his team so they should not be a wife while you are convincing them that you are going to take his team but that's what he says you guys he also says what his temple should not be built on uh, hatred and pain. It shouldn't be something that you do because maybe you were hurt in a relationship or... Um, or you are in some sort of pain in the relationship then you feel like you need to take a second wife uh, also it shouldn't be because your wife also is going through a painful experience maybe the, i thought about the ex uh, the example of a wife not uh, being able to have children for you to say you're taking another wife because of that that would be basically based on somebody's pain we all know uh, you guys with some of the things that um, 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 say, would say as they are contradictory and this is one of those things because we don't know about the situation Gamakumalwe he wanted to take uh, another wife because Makumalo couldn't have kids that is basically him wanting to build uh, his home based on Makumalo's pain because that's the reason he was going to take on number five but anyway as he call up and I'm that's what he says his table must not be built uh, based on uh, pain and uh suffering okay hatred and pain okay so and also he says that it should never be used as a form of punishing a wife say your wife um uh, you have some things that you don't agree upon when it comes to your relationship or running your household with the wife and you feel like the only thing is to take another wife like one of the husbands on whom now it was doing and says if my wife is being disrespectful to me I go and I take another wife he says it mustn't be done like that okay and then he also mentions guys something that I think is very important which is the fact that a lot of the men now have access 
access to money and they always feel like just because they have access to money then that gives them a right to uh, take a stamp and he says it doesn't really go like that just because you have a lot of money doesn't mean that you should take a stamp i honestly feel like um, when it comes to that he moves back and forth there was a time when he actually said that his stamp requires Ilokuzanimali, but there was also a time when he says just because a man does not have a mal it does not mean that he cannot take uh, his stamp so sometimes it confuses me there but in this particular article it does say that uh, he feels like sometimes men opt for his stamp because they have access to imali and they feel like imali gives them the right of passage in order for them to ask for uh, his stamp that's all that i get out from this article you guys but of course the article is on uh the daily not the daily the uh, sunday world so you can go check it out for yourself and see how you get out of that article that is just a summary of what i got out of uh, the article anyway you guys that's all that i want to talk about uh today see if i stay but yes <laughs> but anyway you guys please like the video before upu megiona tell me what you think about this in the comment section make sure that you share the video with your friends with your family and even with strangers